We are continuing the series of Passive House details for window installation. This is a window in a jam location with wood frame wall and exterior insulation. The thermal boundary starts with the exterior insulation and goes across the window. The water resistant barrier is installed in the opening behind the exterior insulation and continuing up the window. The part between the gaskets is a water shedding surface. The vapor control layer is the window and the plywood sheeting between the wood frame wall and exterior insulation. The air barrier is coming down the window and going back to the second sealant and going down behind the exterior insulation, same as the water resistant barrier. The double sealant and the water shedding cavity is only at the jam and head details, not at the seal so we don't get water accumulating in a wind-driving rain situation. The cavity can also be filled with slightly loose-fit EPS. For sequencing the air barrier formation, we start off with the framework of the wall. Then we install the WRB, which is doing a double duty as an air barrier. Next step is installing the window and air sealing the window. This is the point where we already have a comprehensive air barrier and we can test the building. After that, we install the exterior insulation. The head detail is similar to the jam. Here, we do recommend for the WRB to make a transition. The next detail is a detail of a seal, integrating a plywood seal with a metal panel as a water shedding layer. Here, the thermal barrier is facing the window, goes to the sealant and the plywood becomes part of the envelope. The water-resistant barrier is similar, just the cutting of the window is not classified as an WRB, but the gaskets from behind and goes behind the mineral wall and at the back of the sheeting. The air barrier is facing the window, then going across the gaskets and then it becomes as white as the frame until the sealant. It continues over the sealant and across the plywood and behind the sheeting. The critical part is solved with an additional sealant. This is critical because of the slope of the plywood. The vapor control layer is same as the air barrier. For the air barrier we first frame the wall and then we install the seal which is made out of pre-manufactured plywood. Next we are installing fluid applied WRB. Then we install the window then the sealant, and then the air barrier is complete and ready for test.